Welcome back to Easy Talk. I'm Olivia, your English teacher, and today we're going to look at nine overused English phrases and learn some advanced alternatives you can use instead. My goal is to help you sound more natural and confident when speaking English. Before we get started, I just want to say that I'm not telling you to never use these phrases. They're fine, but sometimes it's nice to mix things up and use more native-like expressions. Now, let's get started. Phrase 1, I'm busy. We say this all the time, instead of saying, I'm busy, try, I have a lot on my plate. In this phrase, the word a plate doesn't refer to a dish for food, it means you have a lot of tasks or responsibilities, just like a plate full of food. Let's look at some examples. Unfortunately, I have a lot on my plate today, so I'm gonna have to hand this off to my number two. Actually, I have a lot on my plate today, John. I hope for as long as I can, but I have a lot on my plate tonight. I got a lot on my plate. Hey, I got a lot on my plate, man. I'm learning to Another common phrase is I need help. Instead, you can say, could you give me a hand? Does this mean someone should literally give you their hand? Of course not. It's a friendly way to ask for help. Or, in a more formal setting, you could say, could you assist me? Here are some examples. Could you give me a hand? Scott James, could you give me a hand? MJ, could you give me a hand? Huh? I thought and hoped you could assist me. Excuse me, Sherpa, could you assist me with the harness? Imagine your friend asks you to fix their phone, and you're not sure if you can do it. Instead of saying, I will try to do it, say, I'll give it a shot. Or, I'll give it a go. Both of these phrases mean you'll try, even if you're unsure of the result. For example. Okay, yeah, I will. I'll give it a shot. Okay. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot, but I'm not promising anything. I'll give it a shot. It'll be much good, but I'll give it a guy. I'll give it a go. There's the gilly. That is $10,000, and I'll give it a go. Phrase 4, it is difficult for me. Many people say, it is difficult for me. Instead, try, I'm struggling with. For example, you could say, I'm struggling with my homework, meaning you're finding it difficult, but you're trying. Or, she's struggling to lift the box, meaning it's hard for her to lift, but she's making an effort. I'm struggling with an ethical crisis. I'm struggling with a copy machine. I'm struggling with the thought of leaving my old bedroom. And it's something that I'm struggling with these days. In the past, you've come to me when I'm struggling with a dilemma. If you're in a rush, instead of saying, hurry up, you can say, could you speed things up? Or, let's move things along. Imagine you're running late for the airport and your friend is still packing slowly. You could say, could you speed things up? Or let's move things along. It's a polite way to ask them to be faster. That'll speed things up. <laughs> Help speed things up. Yeah, I could speed things up with the remodel. Move this thing along, huh? It's moving along. Move this along. Yeah, it works. Phrase 6, I don't understand. In class, if you don't understand something, instead of saying, I don't understand, try, I'm not following. Or, I'm confused. For example, sorry, I'm not following. Could you explain that again? It's a great way to ask for more clarification. I'm not following anyone. Okay, I'm not following. I'm not following. I'm confused about... When you find something simple, instead of saying, it's easy, try saying, it's a breeze. Or it's effortless. For example, this recipe is a breeze. Or, for me, learning new languages is effortless, meaning it requires almost no effort. Phrase 8, I don't care. The phrase, I don't care, can sometimes sound a bit rude. Instead, you can say, it doesn't matter to me. It's all the same to me. Or, whatever works for you. For instance, if a friend asks, should we watch a comedy or action movie? You could reply, whatever works for you, meaning you're happy with either choice. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. So marry him, it doesn't matter to me. It's all the same to me. So it's all the same to me. Whatever works for you. I mean, you know, whatever works for you, works for me. Well, whatever works for you. And finally, instead of saying, I'm happy, you can use more fun expressions like, I'm over the moon, or, I'm walking on air. For example, I'm over the moon because I got an A on my test. Or I'm walking on air after hearing the good news. These phrases are great for expressing extreme happiness. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some new, advanced phrases. 
If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!